Hello and welcome. My name is David Shadjutela, and today I will walk you through the process of making a Madonna painting. But first, I'm gonna grab some coffee. I will see you in a bit. I've been working on a series of paintings, or I did work on a series of paintings of some of my favorite musicians, some pop icons. The list includes people like Prince and Bono of U2, as well as LaRue, who is one of my favorite pop musicians. Blondie, who a lot of people call the Marilyn Monroe of rock and roll. It was a mixture of some of my favorite musicians, some of the musicians that I feel more people should be aware of, and some of the people that I believe are truly influential. When I thought about making this series of paintings, I would tell people about it and I would mention some of the artists I had in mind. Some of the people were people like Bowie, Mick Jagger, Joan Jett, Tupac Shakur, Biggie Smalls, the Beastie Boys that, that I consider painting and also people suggested that maybe I painted the Beastie Boys because the Beastie Boys are very influential. Uh, and some of my favorite musicians, some, some people that have actually inspired a lot of the stuff that I've made throughout the years. One name that I never removed from the list was Madonna. What's kind of interesting about Madonna is that over the last few years, a lot of people have kind of gotten a little lukewarm when it comes to Madonna. For me, Madonna was an obvious choice. Madonna was huge in the 80s and she was huge in the 90s and she was she was pretty big in the 2000s as well. I think back to when I was in high school and something like Hung Up was a big hit by Madonna, but it was also a great song. And it was one of the coolest, one of the greatest music videos I had seen in a very long time. And actually, Hung Up is still a song that I listen to constantly because it's such a, it, it is such a really, really good song. One of the things that I think a lot of people seem to forget or seem to neglect or seem to kind of brush off is how consistent Madonna has been her career has survived throughout these years. You think of other bands or other musicians, especially in the pop world, there's not really that many pop artists that survive that long. Honestly, if you think through, most pop artists make it a decade. If that's, what I think it is is that if you are a pop artist, then your music reflects the time. You are in that zeitgeist. So you hit a specific kind of audience. And so that audience eventually grows up and you lose that audience. Or then later you try to keep making music and the new pop thing, the new fresh thing is not what you are anymore. And I think in the case of someone like Madonna, what was really interesting is that she always had her finger on the pulse. It didn't matter necessarily what was going on she always found a way to stand out. She really becomes what the 80s are, if you will. Like, think 80s, think 80s pop stars, and everyone kind of wants to be Madonna. Or everyone's trying to emulate what Madonna is doing. And then she passes that decade. She'd be the decade where, she, she, where that's it. She should be the 80s, and that's that. But then we get to the 90s, and the 90s are just as interesting. You know, that's where she releases Vogue. You know, that, that black and white music video, which was actually directed by David Fincher. You know, so she does that. I mean, she was always somewhat provocative, but I think in the 90s, she really embraced her sexuality a little bit more. She releases this album called Erotica. Along with Erotica, she releases a coffee table book that's called Sex. She writes it and there are a lot of nudes. I think most of them are black and white. I've only seen a few. I haven't actually seen all of them. And there's this whole new phase of Madonna and, and like changing hairstyles and changing uh, clothing and changing everything. I think of bands the same way I think of parents oftentimes. It's almost like when they hit, that's when they stop paying attention to fashion 
And then, like, three albums later, you're just kind of like, hey, dude, you, you might want to get a haircut. Or, like, ooh, those those jeans aren't, aren't cool anymore. You know, you kind of get that with parents. You look at a parent, and then just based on their clothing, you could kind of tell when they had their first kid. <laughs> Actually, in the 90s is when I became aware of Madonna. And it's because in the 90s, that's the decade when I was growing up, MTV used to play a lot of Madonna music, whether... The one that I really remember seeing a lot growing up... Well, it's not even that good of a music video. I really like the song, but the music video is just kind of bland. It's, it's just a, an okay music video. Madonna's Ray of Light. The Ray of Light music video is kind of just her. I think she's dressed in blue. She kind of has like long curly hair. It looks like a mid-90s music video. There was this weird trend in the mid-90s when it came to like movies and montages where they would just kind of like speed up a lot of driving and there was all these like just like a bunch of like lights just going everywhere and everyone was just kind of shaky looking and that's kind of the way the music video is. I think she's just kind of singing and just doing this. That's what I remember her doing. I don't think I really started listening to Madonna until I was in high school. In my sophomore year, I think it was my sophomore year. It could have been my junior year. Madonna released Hung Up. And I remember being in class. If I'm not mistaken, it was, it was a history class. And I remember sitting in the back with a couple of my friends. We were just kind of talking. Everyone was talking. And then eventually, conversation just died. Every single group just kind of went silent. Little by little. There was just one section that kept talking. It was the section that had two or three kids that were in the dance group. I think it was two girls and one guy. The guy was telling the two girls about the latest Madonna music video. And he says, have you seen the new Madonna music video? He says to them, she's dressed in this leotard and she's dancing in a very like 70s kind of way. It's like a 70s disco kind of song. I just remember him telling them, she looks really hot. And it was from there that I actually then looked up the music video. The song was great, and honestly, the kid was right. Madonna did look great in that music video. Even if you don't like Madonna, that's definitely one thing that you can't deny. She is a bit of a chameleon. She does change her style, and she does kind of always kind of know what's happening or what's going to be the next big thing. She really embraces pop music as it's happening at the time. Whenever I hear that there's a new Madonna song, I go out of my way to listen to it. And she's one of the few artists that I'm, that I'm willing to do that. The reason being is that I never know what I'm gonna get. And that's exciting. So let's talk about the painting. I went for 80s Madonna when it came to this painting. 80s Madonna isn't exactly my favorite Madonna. If I'm being honest, 90s Madonna is my favorite. The 80s look of Madonna is much more recognizable than that of the 90s or the 2000s or the current decade. The painting was pretty simple. I started the same way I typically start it. The initial sketch is usually very loose and that is just for composition reasons as usual. And then from there, I go with any color, just like a solid color, usually brown, but with this time I think I went with red. Just the color that I use for measuring. And I also use it to remind myself of where the lights and the darks are. From there, I just started painting and, and the skin tone, originally I did kind of want to go with a really pinkish hue. Little by little, I started pulling back and I started going with a little bit more of a of a natural skin color. Originally, I was gonna go kind of like more in the reddish, pinkish area. But eventually, I started throwing yellows in and I started throwing uh, a bunch of uh, some other colors that made the skin look a little bit more like a traditional skin tone. That's kind of the weird thing, you know, skin tone, it's not an exact science. It depends a lot on how someone is lit or what kind of light is being used. That changes your skin tone. You could pretty much use any color for skin tone and it'll work. If, if really the, the only thing that you really need to focus on is on uh, value and contrast. And, and if you get those, it doesn't really matter what colors you use. Uh, that is something that I kind of learned through coloring comic books. 
and coming to realize that sometimes if you use a quote-unquote skin tone the character looks weird it doesn't look like he belongs oftentimes if you are making a or drawing a night scene then a skin tone doesn't make sense necessarily or it's a traditional skin tone and therefore you go for something like a light blue or something around the gray areas or something um, anyway I'm rambling one thing that was really interesting about this about this painting was actually the hair I had to do it in a lot of different sections so like the hair Madonna's hair was in this particular era it was yellow but the roots were showing the way that she was lit there's like pink highlights but there's like brown in there and there was also like purples and what have you so the way I would have to paint it is that I would have to do like a base color and then from the base color wait for that to dry and then I have to do another section and then wait for that to dry and then do another section and just little by little start it's almost like the base color and then separating it in chunks and then adding details to every one of those chunks and then adding separate hairs to every one of those uh, separate chunks and by doing that being able to create something that would resemble hair it wasn't until the end really that i decided to go for a little bit more of a stylistic thing and that kind of just stemmed from following madonna and knowing a little bit about madonna at the end the painting was just skin tone and the background was like a pink because like i kind of figured something like a pop artist she looked she looked cute she looked pretty but I think to me, Madonna always felt like a trailblazer, like someone that was a bit rebellious. In a, in a sense, a little bit of punk rock, you know. It might have been Hot Topic punk rock, or it might have been uh, like a happy punk punk rock. But nonetheless, like it, it seemed like someone that wasn't necessarily conforming, someone that was just kind of like pushing the envelope. She to me seemed rebellious. and. Her being rebellious didn't sit right well with me that the background was just clean. Didn't sit well with me that her image was just clean. And that is the reason why I then went in and started messing with the painting a little bit more stylistic. And that was for me just reminding people Madonna was rebellious. Yeah, I had this like very pretty look, but it's almost like 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 a siren that was like luring you in with this like very uh this this beauty and then just corrupting you with the actual message <laughs> you know kind of like in greek mythology where uh what was it homer's odyssey where uh homer wanted to hear the sirens and and to be able to hear the sirens and he had to tie himself because the sirens would actually go and and lure you with their beauty and with their with their beautiful voice and then I think they would kill you. I'm not. I'm not sure. I think it would go mad if you actually heard the music. I, I don't remember too well. It's uh, uh, Homer's Odyssey. Just look it up. Anyway, yeah. So for me, the 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 stylizing it, the adding stuff to it, just the chaos of it, was me just, just thinking back at Madonna and thinking about the energy that she emits, always being that one that would just kind of push it just a little bit further. Hopefully I got that message across with that. Overall, I had a really fun time making this painting. I honestly think when you're making pop art, one of the best ways or one of the ways to ensure that you don't mess it up is to actually make a painting of someone that you're a fan of. And I think Madonna has a lot to offer. And I feel like you should listen to her if you don't. She's a good artist. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this brief, abridged, possibly somewhat incorrect history of Madonna and I hope you enjoyed the painting and if you like the painting if you did enjoy it uh, feel free to share this video let people know about this and also if this inspires you to make a Madonna painting or a painting just in general feel free to share it with me tag me 
I am active in multiple social medias. All my links are down below. On top of that, I make comic books. I am currently working on two titles. One's called Gills Retro, the other one's called Lads. They are available on Webtoon and on Tapas. The links are all down below. Anyway, till next time, in the meantime, be kind, be generous, be creative. Thank you.